while. You'll feed them a pinch of food every day. You don't want to overfeed them because then the food will rot in the tank and create, you know, a, an unsafe water uh, water situation for them where it'll start to rot and kind of create a dead zone essentially. Um, and then they'll get bigger and then in the spring we will go up and actually release them in, um, in the Rose River, which is the most exciting part of this whole thing. So, yeah, Adam, so do you are, have more to add? Yeah, these, these trout here, these are the state fish of Virginia. Brook trout are our only native trout species. Uh, there are rainbow trout and brown trout that also inhabit the waters up there. But those are introduced species, they're not native. Uh, brookies are our, our only native trout species. So uh, they need really cold, really clean water. It needs to be at about uh, low to mid 50s generally. Uh, if you get up over 70 degrees, uh, that is uh, very threatening to the trout's health. So that's why we have this chiller right here, which delivers continuously uh, this 54 degree water, which is similar to spring water in a trout stream. You guys have any questions? So how big do you think a trout gets when it when it gets to be an adult? So I'm gonna take a guess. Yeah, a, a foot long is a pretty big brook trout. Yeah, most of the trout you find in streams are, yeah, an adult trout will be eight or nine inches long. 10 or 12 is a pretty big fish. If I went fishing, how big would it have to be for me to keep it? It depends on the stream. But uh, usually the minimum is eight or nine inches. Yeah. Usually you don't get a lot of meat off of those eight or nine inch fish. Um, so I typically, when I go fishing, I usually don't eat the brook trout. Plus they're native, so I, I try to give them a break, let them go. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, uh, so yeah, you guys are, are gonna be in charge of these fish for the next uh, four or five months. We're gonna release them in April. Uh, so between now and then, it's gonna be your job to make sure that they have clean tank, you're going to be sampling the water for things like uh, acidity, pH, or ammonia, which is another chemical that builds up naturally in a tank situation, and then uh, feeding them every day. Uh, a little pinch of food is all they need, they're little fish, but as they get bigger you'll have to add more and more food because they're going to eat more and more. Uh, and the larger we can get these fish, the better their chances are of surviving in the, in the stream when we release them. So uh, why do you think that is? What do you think happens to smaller fish? They get eaten. They get eaten. So everything in the river is trying to eat brook trout. It's a, it's a tasty little fish. The bigger you are, that means if you're big enough, maybe you won't get eaten by a water snake or a, uh, another, a bird that might want to go down there and eat these fish. So the bigger they are, the more chances they are of surviving. So make sure you feed them well, but not too well.